Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for July 11th. God damn it. Cut. June 11th through the 18th. So this is for the sign of Taurus, June 11th through June 18th weekly reading. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. I said July. I don't know why. Anyhow, keep that in mind, okay? So whatever is about to come out could happen now, could have happened in the past, it could be happening in July. All right, so this is for the sign of Taurus. We're gonna get, we're gonna get one of these and one of these. And I haven't even shuffled this deck, but this, this card fell out of the middle. It fell out about right here, it was about right, right here, so. You know, and it just, it just fell out, this one card. And, you know, typically what I do is I, you know, we'll get one of these and one of these. And if it flips over during the shuffle, I'll show it to you now. If not, I'll show it to you at the end. Because this one fell out, I am going to take it and just put it right here. We will reveal it at the end. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you'd like a private reading, the information is noted below. This is for the sign of Taurus. What does Taurus need to know for the second week of June? Like I said, generally my readings are love readings to the lady that doesn't want to see me shuffle. Tough shit. Um, please no bashing in the comments. I don't want to hear about any signs that you hate or what they did to you. Keep that shit out of the comments, okay? You can go ahead and write your comment, but I want to hear about what this other sign did. Keep it out. I'll block it. You know, it looks like you guys are enjoying the finer things in life. You may be on your own. You may be feeling really good working on your own abundance, your own uh, prosperity. You know, you could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And there you could have, you know, made a firm decision to do something. Okay, you've made, you've had to be decisive. All right. And you may have, you know, decided to cut this person out of your life and become single. That could be the case. I mean, that's this is cutting out and this is becoming single. This could also be, even if you're not single, this could be you wanting to be single, wanting to um, just work on yourself right now. Either way, there's a feeling of just enjoying life. I'm, I en I'm enjoying myself right now. There's been some struggles, okay? These are struggles here. There's been a little bit of tension, okay? Probably with this air sign, could be any other sign. Um, there could have been some conflicts. You may be feeling like they were playing games with you, uh, or you may be on the defensive, or you know, this can always go vice versa. Somebody is having to defend themselves in regards to, you know, what they're worth, all right? Because this woman knows what she is worth. She had, she has a lot of self-worth. Ah, oh, somebody's, maybe this person, somebody in this dynamic is clinging to the past, trying to figure out where they want to invest their time. You, they or you, there's, there could be another person in the mix, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person, that could be their sun, moon, or rising sign, or it could just be another person, any sign that is they are unable to let go of. They've got like some hold on this person. I'm not sure what this is. Um, there you are. There is definitely another person in the mix. Okay, there is. Ooh. Let me get this zoomed in before we go any further. Ooh. 
This is for the sign of Taurus for the week of June 11th. The outcome is you have somebody else. Somebody, and this is, I imagine, if you're single, could be coupled. I don't know. There's a new exciting opportunity. This could be an invitation or a message that's coming in that dares you. It dares you to do something exciting, okay? So you may. this may be a week full of excitement, seriously, where you are feeling in your element for one thing you're definitely feeling in your element you're feeling very abundant you're feeling very wise and mature and practical this week but this this new op, new exciting opportunity that's coming in is um something you probably want to scream and holler about okay you're probably like wow this is unbelievable you know what what how is this happening um, it feels as though you've been waiting for something for quite some time and now you are probably, you may be torn, you may be torn between two directions, I'm not sure, maybe one of them is independence and one of them is becoming a couple because we do have a couple here, you know, do you, do you want to be in a relationship or not? Okay, because that's, and this could be you or the person you're dealing with. Somebody is torn in regards to, do I want to be alone and take care of business on my own? Or do I want to, you know, be involved with another person? So that's definitely a dynamic for this week, making that decision, making a firm, solid decision. What the hell do I want? You may have options as well, Taurus, okay? You may have options in love. If you are a woman watching this, you may have an option between three men, okay? Um, if you are a man watching this, you know, you may you may be dealing with a woman that is, this is a Taurus man, okay? If a Taurus, you're a Taurus man, you're watching this, you may be dealing with a woman who is very self-centered, lazy, complacent, um, has you walking on eggshells, okay? And it's causing a lot of mental conflict for you. It's causing you some power struggles, okay? And But you've been, you've been waiting for some time um, for something to change. Both of you have, for men or women. It's something is happening in which you've been waiting for. And it's very, very exciting. You may have somebody that is better suited for you. It, you know, there's somebody, this, this page of wands could, can signify that there's a new suitor who you have a lot in common with, and it is something to write home about, okay? So, but you know, then you have to change your path, okay? So there could be a new path opening up for you that is pretty exciting. Somebody is still clinging to the past, though. You know, you may be clean to the past or, or the person you're dealing with. You know, there's definitely, you know, we have air, earth, and fire here. A lot of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, oh, and the Cancer. Interesting. Uh, somebody, I think somebody is headed towards you at rapid speed. <laughs> I do. I think it's happening very, very quickly. It's like they come a charging in to claim their prize. <laughs> so I'm not sure. And this may be somebody that you've known before. Okay. And, and maybe it doesn't mean that you even dated them. It could be somebody that you've known and they've been watching you perhaps. I'm not sure. But it feels like somebody is is charging in pretty darn quickly. You know, there's a new beginning here with the world card. There's a new beginning right in front of you. It's like one chapter of your life has ended and you've learned something big from that chapter. You have. There was a lot of struggles during that time. Um, I think that you were probably forced to be responsible and take care of yourself during a lot of it. And you um, have now learned the lesson about how to how to get your own victory and success, how to take the lead in your own life. There's a lot of victory and success here in a lesson learned. This lesson learned has to do with another person who may, maybe this person cut you out or you cut them out, but there was a lesson learned surrounding um, making a difficult decision, put it that way. Interesting. There is some worry. Oh my goodness. Whew. 
Two of Cups, High Priestess, Nine of Swords, and the Fool card reversed. Somebody is headed either towards you or you are headed towards them at high speed, full speed ahead. And there's a major new beginning, new phase in your life that is probably starting and it's part of your life plan. It's part of your your script, okay, with the high priestess. It is. It's part of your divine path, okay? There is a new beginning. And you know, yeah, it's almost like you knew this was coming. You did. You have, your intuition was telling you that this, this love, this union, this partnership was coming soon, okay? Um, I feel like there is an element of worry here. Worry about if if this is too good to be true. Worry if your intuition is right on. I have to tell you that it is. Whatever your intuition is telling you, go with it because there's no need to worry. There's no need to sweat the small stuff. You're probably worried that this person is going to take advantage of you. Maybe you've been reckless in the past and maybe that was a lesson that you learned not to be so reckless. Maybe, you know, you moved too quickly in the past and it um, taught, you a, taught you a hard lesson and I feel as though now you have a new opportunity. It looks like you have a new opportunity, a new beginning in love. It's happening fast. It's happening really fast. And you may be scared of, of being taken advantage of again, but it's too exciting to pass up. There's an exciting opportunity here for you, Taurus, and it's like this person is like very well suited for you. Very, very well. This person is looking for togetherness, okay? You know, you may have just walked away from somebody or they may have just walked away from somebody and, you know, you're probably letting go of emotional hurt and maybe this person is as well. Somebody is is actually really scared to get hurt again. Huh. Whoever this person is that is charging into your life thinks that you are beautiful, kind, compassionate, um, and loving. I mean, whatever is happening, I think somebody here is going through some sort of renewal. They're going through some sort of rebirth after um, walking away from a situation. Somebody has left a situation and they're scared of getting hurt again because things are happening too fast. Okay. And the thing is, is, is their beauty, their kindness, it's almost like they're so eager to love and I think this is you. I think you're so eager to love that sometimes you get taken advantage of. So just keep that in mind. You're 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 probably glowing this week. Absolutely glowing. And everybody is probably feeling your the the overflow of abundance that and beauty and love and kindness that is flowing out of you. I mean that's that's what this is. Um it feels as though um, there's a new beginning in love here, Taurus, and it's because you project yourself from your heart, you know, you, you're very magnetic, okay? This is represented by the sign of Taurus, so you are here. Taurus, you are here. You're here in this reading. And you, you, there's love. There's love coming in for Taurus after walking away from a situation. And it's probably happening very, very quickly. And you're probably like, oh my God, I have to really think about this. I thought I, thought I wanted to be single. This is thinking about it, thinking about it. I got to think about this. I really do. I really have to think about this. And this is the single card. I thought I was going to be single. But here we have we have two people. This is the sign of cancer. You know, there are two horses, whatever. It's two. It's two. Or two come together. So I And this is two as well. I believe that there is a coming together that is happening just so fast that it, it's probably a little overwhelming. And... The, this, 
you gained a lot of strength from your gentle compassion and there's a lot of unconditional love here and it feels as though this person whoever this is that's coming in very very quickly will have unconditional love for you as you have unconditional love for them I think you're an unconditional lover and you know unconditional love is conditional okay so don't get me wrong on that because we all have conditions in love I don't want this I don't want that okay we do but with the Empress she is if there was an unconditional love this would be it she loves wholeheartedly fully at once okay she doesn't judge based on looks, on stature, on money, okay? She judges on kindness and compassion and emotion, okay? So I feel as though this is probably you this week. Somebody sees your gentle compassion and they're drawn to it. They are definitely drawn to it. Oh my God, you are all over in this reading. You're right in your own element. You are, you're probably, you're probably um, feeling very beautiful, looking very beautiful, feeling very generous, feeling very kind. Um, you're very abundant. This is a week of abundance, Taurus, it is. And you are receiving a new, a major new beginning here. It is, it's like somebody is is headed towards you that it's coming very quickly and you're headed in the in the right direction of your destined path so fast that I can't even think of the freaking word for it put it that way it's happening you're moving very 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 quickly things are happening at record speed this week it's like unbelievable Okay, and, now, and and it's weird because there's a lot of beauty here, too. It's like you are, like, probably the pick of the litter, okay? And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Taurus. I'm not. I don't. I'm not. This is for next week, by the way. Anyway, um, God. listening getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens these cards go hand in hand there is somebody that you are probably getting to know this week okay and you are being called to really listen 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 with your eyes listen with your heart listen with your body language listen with your past experiences listen through the eyes of love Okay, this person may not be your usual type. Just saying, they may not. They may not be a usual nut type. But that doesn't mean that they're wrong. It means that you need to be open. You need to be open and objective to and be objective about this new opportunity. Um, give this person a chance. Be open to getting to know them and really listening to what and who they are. Talk to you later.